today, um, before I do start, um, the reason why I'm wearing this is my mom thought it'd be a good, a pretty good idea. So I tried it on and feels pretty comfortable. So I'm probably gonna use it for the rest of my reviews. So um, this toy I'm gonna show you is the first auxiliary resort to be released. <clears throat> This is um, the review of Power Rangers Samurai Beetlezord. Yep. Uh, before I begin, I want to tell you a little thing about this. These videos, these next three, three videos. <coughs> this is going to be a three-parter, which means one, I'm going to be going over the Beetlezord. Second part, we'll be talking about the tire zord, and then I'm going to actually get into the reviews and then the combinations with the Samurai Megazord. So, um, stay tuned for that. This is going to be a kind of a short video. I don't know how long it is, but we'll go into it first. Um, <clears throat> the Beetle Zord is um, one of the Zords that um, Jaden first uses in the episode Day Off. If you ever seen the episode, you would know what I mean. Um, if not, go see it. Um, the others go enjoy a day off while Jaden tries to unleash the power of the Beetle Disc, <clears throat> which is what's that called? In Japan, it's called the Kabuto disc, um, which is a disc that's orange and has these claws on it. And when it was spin, it would make a um, the claw make it the claw action. Sorry, my hair is a little itchy. It happens a lot. Um, anyway, what would happen is um, Jaden tries to use. The Fire Smasher, um, sorry, I'm a little itchy at times. Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. Hardly avoidable, but anyway, back to it. Um, well, you should know about that. They finally used the Beetle Zord for the first time. Um, then in the episode Forest of the Trees, I believe that's the name of the episode. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, if I'm wrong, comment. Um, look, a little info in the comment about that. I have seen Power Rangers Samurai. I've seen like all the episodes. Um, not on TV, but some on the computer. So I know how to uh, explain. Um, what happens is um, Mike makes a fool out of himself to use the beetle disc um, <clears throat> and um, he gets the samurizer taken away by mentor G which is J-I which how it's, that's how it's pronounced in the show and um, what happens is um, he is um, <clears throat> sorry my throat's a little bothering me <coughs> well anyway you get the point. Um, he comes back uh, by help from a mentor, or G, as it's called, and uh, Mia gives him the beetle disc, and he now becomes part of the um, beetle zord. He now controls the beetle zord, which is the reason why he comes with this. we do get on this is the head goes 360 and that is it now there is a peg right here that would peg into the foot of the beetle and I'm having a hard time trying to figure out how this works 
sometimes it likes to pop off. See? It pops off a lot. It does like to pop off. So, it always has its foot hanging out like that. So, anyway, I want to try and take this down so I can show you its feature. Um, what, what happened is, let me rotate the floor. So what happens is there are wheels on the bottom. Ah, you let me move that out of the way. I don't know. Oops. Uh, just pop that off for now. So what happens is there are wheels on the bottom, and you do this, and his um, um, his head spins, or his beetle head. So. It's going to be in two parts, then. Since I don't really want to waste my time doing all these fancy videos. So, instead of doing all these fancy videos, a three-part, I'm going to do a two-part instead. We're now going to talk about the Tiger Zord. Which, um, oh, and I forgot the, um, the name of um, the one from Samurai Sentai Shinkenger is called the Kabuto Origami. This one is the Tora Origami, which means tiger. Which that's why this guy's called the Tiger Zord. Because he's a tiger. Uh, it's a white tiger.